Welcome along to another on road podcast video and today I am talking you through the Sanwa multi setting gear program box. Uh, it's for the Sanwa SSL and SXR range of servos. Um, so if you haven't got a Sanwa handset, uh, ZZ or the M17 I think it is, you won't be able to adjust the servo without that handset. If you've got a different brand, you'll therefore need one of these boxes. And on the Sanwa handsets, you can only adjust, I believe, five of the seven variables. And so being ever inquisitive, I wanted to get the box and have a fiddle around with the other two settings. I think these adjustable servers are hugely uh, influential and another huge uh, tuning aid to your car. So uh, as I say, I wanted to get uh, the prog box and see what it offered as uh, the alternative to those two other options. So what do you get in the box? You get the uh, box itself, multi-setting gear box, very shiny, comes with a the, the usual plastic cling film on the top of it. I've removed that already. Very nice looking box, nice quality, as you'd expect from Samoa. Also comes with a battery box because obviously the servo is not going to be powered up. So you're going to need to have a battery box that comes with it. The, the batteries don't, they're AAAs. Uh, so I've popped those in already. Comes with uh, two sets of instruction manuals. Um, this is the SSL servo, that's the 10th scale, I use those on my buggies and I do a low profile one as well for, for wet buggies, dirt buggies. Um, it's uh, fairly <laughs> tricky uh, because it's obviously <laughs> Japanese, Chinese are, are, are converting it into English and it's not, not the best if I'm being honest. Um, the second one, the second instruction manual has a go at um, explaining what the various settings are. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten different settings that this does, I believe. Uh, yep. And uh, again, doesn't really explain what they do. Uh, but I've had a bit of a play around and I'm going to do a video on what they all do individually. So that's what comes in the box. What you're going to also need along with this is a servo, <laughs> obviously. And you're also going to need a micro SD card. Um, now it needs to be a micro SD HC card micro sd hc card i had another micro card that i use in my gopro and i went to try to do this uh what i'm about to explain and it didn't work got the uh, hc card and it did work now what will happen is when you plug your sxr or ssl servo into this program box it will tell you you've got the wrong program on the box so you need to update this box with the right software bit of a ball lake got to tell you can't pro uh, you can't plug this directly into your laptop either you have to do it through an sd card hence the sd card so i'm going to cast the box and the battery box the server and the sd card to the side i'm going to drag in my laptop and i'm going to show you how this is going to play out. So here we have the sanwa-denshi.com website. And I've clicked on servo accessories and I've gone down to the two uh, prog boxes that they do you want the multi-setting gear prog box click on that 
And then as you scroll down here, it even says up the top here, possible to save and read setting value of PGS via micro SDHC card up on the top right hand corner there. There's the box. And then as you come down, here's the firmware settings. Now they all have a click tab on the different uh, firmware that you need. Now, you get your SD card and you plug it into your SD port if you've got one on your laptop. Hopefully you have. If not, get yourself a plug-in. Now as it pulls up here, I've got my SD card on the left-hand side that's come up. And now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go back to the site and I'm gonna download all of these programs onto my laptop and you can see they've all popped up in here so wherever that download comes up in your laptop click and drag them into the SD card boom so I've dragged those five files into those five uh, those five into the SD card. Then I'm gonna eject the SD card, pull it out. Don't need the laptop anymore. And we are good to go. Big thanks to Andy Thompson for sharing his video. So we've plugged the SD card in, we've held down the back button and then plugged in the power pack. And as you can see on the left-hand side, Andy is able to scroll through the various programs that we've un uploaded on the SD card. Now, the one that you want for the SXR is the GEA triple one zero eight. Andy's going to take the thumb off the back button, press the enter button, and as you can see, it uploaded the file, uh, and it uh, is now asking for the device to be connected. To reboot, you're just going to unplug the battery pack and then you're gonna plug the battery pack back in. And he's now just sourcing the, uh, the servo. So we've plugged the servo in, the SXR servo, and then we're gonna plug the battery pack back in. And it immediately registers the fact that you've got the SXHR video um, servo in there. It's now reading the device and it's now giving us what the settings are on that device or what the settings are on the servo. So as he's scrolling through there, you can see the boost, the dead band, the MV mid, the MV end, and all the settings are in the box. To, to adjust this, you just press enter and you can then adjust them up and down as you see fit. Enter will then select it back and then you can move on to your next ones so fairly simple to use the box once all the program is updated uh, to then obviously make it reset it's going to go back a few times so you come back out so it's all set and then just remove the servo and pull the, the, the battery out hopefully that will make sense uh, if you like the video and it's been useful click the like button costs nothing and does me a real favor for the channel Subscribe to the channel while you're here, share with your friends, and hopefully uh, we'll all see you again sometime soon, trackside. Bye for now.